Where did you find it? You'll never believe it. It was in the office of Mr. Fancy Pants Ace Detective. <laughs> Look at me. Oh, Desi, you're the best! Uh, another coffee mug. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you explain that one, Mr. Atme? Even you are going to have a hard time weaseling out of this one. Ha! Pathetic. Mr. Gordot, do you have something you wish to say? Yes, Your Honor. It is simply amazes me how quickly times change. In the old days, a man was to, had, was to be taken at his word. It's truly sad. You're still denying that Mr. Atme was involved. We were casting aspirations at Miss Detective Atme. Let's consider this young lady here. Your name is Desiree. Desiree Delight. Is that correct? Yes. What about it? <laughs> ha! How charming. The lengths that a woman is willing to go to save her husband is truly inspiring. What are you insinuating? As the wife of the criminal, you could have discovered that urn stolen urn anywhere. Including the coffee of the good the office of the good detective here. So, you found the urn. What does that prove? It certainly doesn't prove where the urn was was before you found it. What? I just brought it here from the detective's office. Please, madame. This town is already filled to the brim with lies. Any more could only compound the tragedy we have been witness to. <clears throat> You're wrong! I, I could never- I, I would never do such a thing! Mr. Light. Please, Nicky boy! Y you have to help me talk some sense into these people! There must be some way. I gotta prove that the urn was actually in the Atmos agency. Well... I can perhaps... I can prove where the urn was. By the fingerprints on it. Fingerprints, eh? Oh, come now. Oh, come now. Now you're really making me laugh, sir lawyer. Fingerprints indeed. May I go on? Good. Now, it would be perfectly understandable if my fingerprints were on the urn. After all, it was I who was guarding the urn in the first place. In any case, I am always in the habit of wearing gloves, as you can see. So unfortunately, my fingerprints wouldn't be evidence of anything. Hmm, what about it, Mr. Wright? The witness fingerprints would mean nothing anyway. Nick, what are you going to do now? I've come too far to turn back now. Atme must have brought the urn back to his office yesterday. And there, I'm sure someone must have left fingerprints on it. The defense proposed that the fingerprints of this person could be used to find to uh, should be used on the urn because we touched it. So what's all this fuss about fingerprints anyway? Miss Ratme, do you recall the events of yesterday? I need a piece of my panagotta. It's true that I didn't get a chance to look at it in the bag at the time, but I did touch what was inside. What? You touched it! And I remember it very well. It was smooth and hard. Uh, well, that was just... Your Honor, I'd like the court to examine the fingerprints on that urn. If my fingerprints are on there, then it proves that the urn was in Detective Atme's office. Well, even if your fingerprints are on the urn, it still doesn't prove when they were put there, does it? Of course it does. What did you say? It's not 
it's not what I, uh, what I say, but what Adrian Andrews, the person in charge of the exhibit, said. <laughs> if she polished it that much, she must have removed any and all fingerprints on it. And the only chance I had to get my fingerprints off on it after that was yesterday at Atomy Detective Energy Agency. Ha! This blend. Got it blend number... number 107. I've decided. It's a little too bitter after all. <laughs> Order! 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 I accept their defense request. Paylith, take this urn and... Wait. Wait a moment, Your Honor. There's no need for that. You need, you say? <laughs> I guess I have a video to watch. Precisely. I already know Mr. Wright's fingerprints are on the urn. What are you saying? Yes, I finally broke him down. <laughs> Take a good look, everyone. Unable to find a rival worthy of my genius, I was forced to create one by myself. Here I am, the tragic clown. This guy is not sure than a fruitcake. You see, it was me all along. I am the one and only Mask the Mask. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed my little performance. <laughs> well, Mr. Cornard, what is Mr. Atmos condition? He is still in the lobby, laughing insanely, Your Honor. I wish I could enjoy the joke as much as he seems to be. Like the matter has been settled. I came perilously close to besmirching the record of an innocent old man, young man. Besmirching him with the title of thief. Nick, you were right after all. Yeah, I guess Mr. Delight really wasn't a thief. The court finds a defendant, Mr. Ron Delight. You're wrong! Uh, wrong, I tell you! I, um, I, I, mean, I mean, not exactly wrong so much, but it's actually not right for what I was really trying to say. Um, oh no, he's not. This can't be happening. The thief, the, the, the sneaky, odious thief that's been stealing all the treasures. It's me, I'm him! I'm the only one. I'm the thief, I tell you! So, so, so do it! Pronounce me guilty, please! I don't know what kind of kangaroo court you think this all think this is, but... The true identity of the thief has already been proven. Please hurry and pass judge. What are you talking about? I always confessed. I'm the thief, I tell you. <sighs> Mr. Gordon, don't just stand there drinking coffee. <laughs> hey there, Mr. Thief. Y yes sir if you're really a man then clean up your own mess uh, I I'm sorry I I'm afraid I just don't have any idea what you mean if you are a master mask then prove it that's what it means y yeah yes sir I'd be happy to sir he says I'd be happy to Nick it's kind of cute he is 100% committed to his fantasy Good boy. Just remember one thing. A boy only gets one chance in life to become a man. I know that. I, I will fail, I swear. Okay then, talk. We are all listening. 
Oh, well, let us all listen to this confession. <laughs> wow. But most things are like, you know, C based, C based, and everything just like compiles down to it. <laughs> Many things are like, if I recall correctly, Java is really just that. I wasn't, am I confusing it with something else? Or maybe it could be, you might be confusing it with someone else. Oh well. The, the truth is, I've been masked and masked all along. I, I mean, you can't prove that I'm actually not masked and masked, can you? I, I don't have an alibi for the night that I almost turtled after all. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wow. I, I don't my costume that night and dancingly descended upon the scene of crime. <clears throat> Look, you can see it right there in the photo. That's me! Uh, that's my brooch. Uh, I, I snagged on the door handle and it got torn off, that's all. Hmm. I don't like this direction this trial is taken. But this is how every trial goes. At least with me, anyway. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> Stop it, Mr. Gordon. You're embarrassing me. Like I said, you're only going to get, going to get one chance to testify, all right? But if you can make it through this with flying colors, I'll keep my promise too. I'll make sure you stay locked up in prison as the one and only true Mask de Mask. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Gordon. I I I'll do my best. All right, Mr. Wright. I'm afraid it's time for me for a cross-examination. <sighs> uh, actually, we do have an alibi for you. Because this one was found at the uh, thing, so there's not really much else to do. Objection! Mr. Delight, this wallet belongs to you, correct? <laughs> ah, y y yes it does. I, I had lost it somewhere. Mr. Wright, when you find a wallet, you should report it to the police right away. Ah, uh, no, you don't understand. This is an important piece of evidence. Evidence? Mr. Delight, when did you first notice you'd lost your wallet? Uh, let, let's see, uh, I think it was on the night of the crime. But I know I still had it when Desi and I went out for dinner. And this wallet was found at approximately 1am at KB Security Headquarters. What? Surely you are not serious? Yes, I am serious. This proves that Mr. the Light was in fact at KB Security that night. No! So if the defendant was at KB Security at 1 o'clock in the morning, then that proves that he has a watertight alibi. No! Furthermore, considering the distance between Lordy Taylor and KB Security, it would have taken 30 minutes to get there by car, according to Larry anyway. Well, Mr. Gordon, do you have anything to say? Then stop drinking that coffee! Come on, Mr. Thief. Don't let this guy beat you. Tell him why you're, he's wrong. You're the only one who calls me Thief, Mr. Gordon. All right, I'll try. I'll do it, I will. He's really got the light worked up. Yeah, he's like a kid his first day of school. Look, it's just ridiculous. Why would I drop my wallet at KB Security? Someone must have planted it there to make it look like I was there and not at the heist. Planted it there? He's really reaching now. Mr. Delight, you probably dropped your wallet when you took it out of this, didn't you? It's out. The key card to KB Security CEO's office. No. Ha. Huh. That was a pretty good try, Mr. Trite. 
Unfortunately, you overlooked one small thing. A what? Motive, of course. Why would the thief go to KB Security in the middle of the night anyway? Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, it looks like you need some more evidence after all. Ugh, this is stupid kid. Now then, let's see your evidence. The evidence that shows Mr. Delight went to KB Security at that night. Um, this one. Mr. Delight. I believe you've seen this one before, correct? Ah, oh, that's... What is it? A blackmail letter. That's what it looks like from the contents. But blackmail. Yes, basically it says bring $50,000. Hmm, that certainly sounds like blackmail, all right. And at the time of the th uh, theft, Mr. Delight was dealing with the blackmailer himself. In KB Security's CEO's office, a full half hour away from the scene of the crime. <laughs> order! 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 So, what the thief of the urn occurred? After the urn occurred, the defendant was at KB Security. It looks like the perfect case for the defense. You may see as a perfect case, Judge, but to me... Well, let's just say that my God of Blend numbers... Number 107 impresses me a lot more. What are you trying to say? You said that he was being blackmailed by the CEO of, such a, of a security company. But, did you actually investigate the CEO at all? Huh? Well, no, I guess not. Accusing a man of blackmail with no proof? I'm not sure what I think of that. I'm not sure what you think of that. At least I know what I think of you. Hmm, good point. I'm not sure what I think of it myself. You claim the defendant entered the CEO's office. But you will need at least one witness to corroborate your claim, Mr. Wright. Nick, I, I think we're gonna have to track down the CEO guy. No, we don't have to track down the CEO, CEO at all. What do you mean by that, Mr. Trite? There is someone else who can testify. This person can. Uh, th this person is the person who can testify that the key card was used at 1 a.m. that night. Take that. Who is this useless-looking young man? You don't remember him, Your Honor? Hmm. Not exactly. But just looking at this picture <laughs> makes my bile start to rise in my throat. <laughs> it looks like he doesn't remember the case from two years ago. He, pro <laughs> he probably blocked out that memory on purpose. Anyway, this man was working a as a guard at, at uh, KB Security that night. Oh. The question at, at hand is this key card. <laughs> yeah, I can't blame him. <laughs> hmm. As you can see, there's no need to investigate the CEO of KB Security. We should be able to discover the truth simply by analyzing this keycard's data. Mr. Gordot? The name of the CEO of KB Security is Kane Bullard. I was unable to contact him directly, but I got the keycard data <coughs> here. So, what does it show? Each keycard has its own serial number. They leave, they leave detailed records of their use. 
According to this data, the car was used at 1 a.m. on this morning of the crime. But that means it cannot possibly be Mr. Delight as Master Mask in his photo. Ha! It looks like you're right. Two minutes isn't even enough to get time to brew, brew a good ch cup of joe. So, so then... Ron Delight was clearly in the office of KB Security CEO at the time of the crime. The prosecution's office is ready to admit that fact. Therefore, it's impossible for the defendant to be masked the mask. Good job, you did it, Nick! That's enough! I can pr- <laughs> The same must be before I was gonna repeat it. What's wrong, Your Honor? I'm ready to pass judgment before I do that. Do you have any further objections? No, Your Honor. Ha! <laughs> um, very well. The court finds the defendant, Mr. Ron Delight, not guilty. Um, from the frying pan into the fire. Court is now adjourned. Nick, you did it! You were right after all. Uh, actually, I'm a bit ashamed of myself. Thank you, boy! Oh, Mr. Light! I knew I could do it, you could do it! I believed in you all along, Nicky boy. <laughs> I don't know how I can ever repay you. Oh, shucks. Thanks, Mr. Light. I just know I'm blushing. Congratulations, Mr. Nick! <laughs> oh, per pearls! I've got a bad feeling about this. <gasps> Who is this woman? Oh, she... she's nobody. She's just... Uh, you're blushing! How dare you do this in front of Mystic Maya! You should be ashamed of yourself! Ouch! She slapped me! Um, Pearly. This woman is Miss Desiree Delight. She's our client's wife. <gasps> Mr. Nick! Yes? You're even worse than I thought. Going behind the back of your own client. <clears throat> no, you got it all wrong. I'll never forgive you. Ow! Double slap. Well, anyway. All that's well ends well, right? We got the second urn back and the thief has been caught. You're so right, and it's all thanks to Nicky Boy over here. But it was actually you, Mr. Light, that brought the burn urn back to us. Thank you for the bottom of my heart. Oh, please, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> if we won the case, then why is this guy? Then why is this guy seem so blue? Uh, but I am the thief. Actually, what's the point now? What is it, honey? I did my best for you, Ronnie. <laughs> uh, I know that, and I appreciate that, Desi. But the thing is... Come on, give the kid some time. He's just a little touch of blues. You know what feeling blue... You know about feeling blue, right, amigo? <laughs> Mr. Gordot, what are you doing here? Oh, come on. I just came here to say thanks to my newest buddy. You, Mr. Trite. Maybe you should learn my name before me buddy. We call it comic buddy. Well, playtime is over. <clears throat> huh? Early this morning, the body of Kane Bullard was discovered. Kane Bullard? Where have I heard that name before? Isn't that the name of the CEO of KB Security? Wait. Body? The estimated time of death was 1 a.m. on October 12th. 1 a.m. on October 12th? You don't mean. That's right, amigo. At the same time that cheap little urn was being stolen, the CEO of KB Security was being murdered. 
so then, what are you doing here? Oh, come on. You've figured out already, haven't you, amigo? Or have you already forgotten about that piece of info I helped you out with today? Help me out? What? On October 12th at 1 o'clock in the morning, Ron Delight was in the CEO's office. The scene of a murder. After getting that blackmail letter, he must have been imbued with utter rage. What are you saying? Imbued with rage? Come on, don't tell me you didn't know. Ron Delight was once an employee of KB Security. He was a professional security guard. A an em employee at KB Security? It looks like the alibi that saved him from being convicted as a thief is going to be the news that gets him hanged. Kind of an anti-alibi. <laughs> no way! He can't be the thief because he was at, at the murder scene when the murder occurred. No, that's a lie. It can't be true. Oh, oh, but, but, but I'm a thief, I tell you. Run, Delight. You're going back to prison again. This time, the charge is much more serious. This time, you will be charged for murder. What? This, can't, this, this, this is impossible! I'm looking forward to another exciting showdown, Mr. Trite. You and I aren't, as, aren't through with each other yet. Surely you are back down from another challenge? You have never been a coward. <gasps> Mr. Nick, is there something personal between you two? I returned from the depths of hell to do battle with you. At least let me have some fun while I'm here. This guy, who the heck is he? He may be quiet, but he's the most dangerous enemy I've ever faced. Well then, time to say goodbye to Mr. Delight. Nick, uh, how could this be happening? Right up in front of our very eyes, our client has been arrested for murder. <laughs> um, so, Pix, we don't know him. Um, Felix doesn't know him. <laughs> yeah, I have. Uh, I'm gonna be playing Or in the Blind Forest before investigations. Um, so, uh, but we will get to uh, investigations. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Arrested for murder on the very same day he's declared innocent of larn larceny. Yes, it did. It boots up perfectly, and uh, it's. Uh, I have fixed the everything. I have fixed the scenes for it to be able to do. Well, uh, sort of fixed the scenes. I still need to fix an overlay for it because uh, because of the way the DS monitors is laid out. It like looks very weird across here. There's a lot of empty space. I need to find something to occupy that space. I guess I'm doing the chat and the camera. I still need to fix that, but hey. Yeah, don't wiki Godot. What is going to happen next? found the urn at all, but poor Mr. Delight got arrested again. Yes, I do know this is the best game in the series. Of course I know. This is my favorite game. There's just so many things that go goes on into this game. I'm not too fond of this case. I actually don't like this case at all. I do like the next case. The next case is amazing. And of course the last case is just it's the very best case of the series, I think. You know, okay. 
Well, supposedly Mr. Delight was in the CEO's office when the murder occurred. No way, Jose. I don't buy it. But the one who proved that Mr. Delight was there was you. 